eventually you'll remember that before you come to a stop and you'll just train out the wheel with yeah. that momentum and then come to a stop. Oh yeah, that would be good. All right. Where's that? Stockton Airport via fly runway heading. Radar vectors Eb2, Echo, Bravo, Tango, Uniform, Whiskey, Victor 23, Hones, Hotel, Oscar, November, Echo, Zulu, then direct. Maintain 6,000. Departure frequency 119.6. Block 4532. Okay, Sirius 22A Zulu is clear to Stockton Airport. Uh, runway heading, radar vectors to uh, Echo Bravo Tango Uniform Whiskey, then uh, Victor 23, Hones, um, Hotel uh, Oscar, November Echo Zulu, then direct 6000, uh, 119.6, 4532. Sirius 228 Zulu, read back correct. And contact tower 118.2 when you're ready. Have a good day. Over to tower when ready, 228 Zulu, thank you. Good! Solid work. They're having too much fun up there. Yeah, they're doing... Man, great. Okay, so let's do... B, T. That was nice the way he... Yes, was... full route, advise ready to copy. That's yeah, the way it should super be. Super slow and... That's the way it should be. Two, three, two, Hans. Direct. Okay, there's Hans. And then, okay. There we are. Good there. Group two. And two, three. Victor two three and, and then Hans and then direct direct there it is okay, that's good okay so we are doing runway heading it's already there to three thousand or excuse me six thousand one one. Six. Sure. And then I already have tower in there. Four, five, three, two. Squawk is in there. So now that I have everything, check the flight plan one more time. Uh, keep two hones or Victor twenty three hones and then direct. Six thousand. Got that in there. Runway heading is also in there. One nine or six is there. Squawk is four five three two. Absolutely solid. Good work. That looks good. Good work. Okay. All right. So just go over to tower. Let's do a takeoff briefing. And then we'll uh, contact tower. Okay, so, uh, so or we're going to be taking off 29 or right. I have that bugged. Uh, we'll be taking about 2,000 feet. Uh, we, if we have any issues prior to uh, rotation, we'll just power back. After rotation, usable runway, we'll power uh, land back, power back. 
Uh, and then we should have, this is a very long runway, there should be uh, 600 AGL, 900 MSL, uh, in which case uh, we will pull caps if we have any problems uh, to 2,000 or 2,300 MSL. We just pull caps uh, unless we feel like we can get back. Um, and then we'll be climbing to 6,000. Any questions? Good to go. Fantastic. Good to go. Okay. Fresno Tower, Sears 228 Zulu, holding short uh, 29 or right in the run-up area. Ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. 228 Zulu, Fresno Tower, runway 29 or right to clear for takeoff. 29 or right, clear for takeoff, 228 Zulu. Just get it rolling. What's that? What's that? And set trim. Good. Final looks clear here, and we will make sure it looks clear out the window, too. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. All right. Clear left. And I don't see anyone on final. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to Stockton, California. Man. We're going all over the place. <laughs> We are hitting California from all angles. Tentron aircraft, Fresno 8 is Tango now current. Wind uh, 297, altimeter 2985. Beautiful. That was really good. That was really good. Yeah, that was good. Good. We fly when the plane's ready to go fly. Flaps are coming. Good. Coming up. Maps, good. Maps, maps. And do you intentionally have the flight director on? Uh, no. Cool. So long for us now. 600. Okay. Now flaps caps maps. Good. Remember, 2A Zulu, contact departure. Over to departure, 2A Zulu. What are you going to tell him? Okay. Um, so, uh, 1,100. Climbing, uh, climbing 6,000. 6,000. And then runway heading. Cool. Departure, Sirius 228 Zulu, uh, 1,300. Climbing 6,000. Runway heading. Sirius 228 Zulu, Fresno departure. Radar contact, clear direct up 2 Clear direct up 2 228 Zulu. So, before you do any of that, is up to our next waypoint. It is. Could we get away with the direct enter enter? We can. Boom. That's it. We have the ability to do that shortcut because up to is our next There's waypoint. Our next one. Yep. And we're verifying up to 3819. See that? Yep. That's it. Easy. Very simple. Yeah. Good stuff. There we are. Good work. Easy. Easy. This is really easy stuff. Switch tanks. It's really easy stuff. There's few things that make me happier than hearing someone say that this is easy stuff because it really, really is. It yeah. really is. Yeah. To design a website is much more difficult, I think. Yeah, designing a website <laughs> is really hard. There's a lot that goes into I it. I mean, I don't, I look at it and I'm like, what? Yeah. But you see, it all comes down to, there's no such thing as hard or easy in life. It all comes down to familiarity. Yeah. You know, if you ask, I tell this to people all the time. Here's how I equate, explain flight training. People say, is flight training hard? Here's what I say. If you asked a German person, 
if English, speaking English, is easy, what will they tell you? They'd say no. Say it's beyond difficult. Yeah. I, I, how do you guys do it? But if you ask you, it's easy. Yeah. So who's right? Both. Good. <laughs> Good. So is flight training hard? Depends who you ask. Is flight training yeah. easy? Depends who you ask. So what makes one's perspective be what it is? That, yeah, like you said, the familiarity. It's familiarity. And yeah. it's proficiency and it's training and it's exposure. It's just knowing what to expect. Yeah. It's all of it. Uh huh. It's all of it. It's all of it. But really, that's how I think of flight training. It's not hard. It's new. When you first start flying, it's not hard. It's new. Yeah. There's a difference between hard and new. Hard and new. This is, talk about one way of getting to see this country. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. You don't see any of this from when if you drive. No. So, uh, I flew, last year I flew over uh, Yellowstone. Uh-huh. Yeah. Man, that is the best. It's really cool. Yeah. yeah. The Grand Prismatic. Uh-huh. Is, I mean, you can't really see it when you're on the ground. Uh -huh. Like, you can kind of see, okay, yeah, this is kind of cool. But when you're in the air and you see it, it's like, oh my gosh, this is yep. otherworldly. Yep. Yellowstone. Lots of national parks in Utah. Yeah, there's five of them. Wow. Look at that, we'll barely glide four miles, 4,100 feet over the ground. Yeah. This thing drops like a potato. Good, never, in the name of never a dull moment, let's go ahead and see what the winds are doing in Stockton. Yep, I think that sounds great. That's where my mind was going, I was like, okay, what can I do now? Yeah, good. Okay, so... 330. At 8. So now, let's look at approaches. Okay, let's... Uh, you can go to the airport information the page. Traffic along actually, and see what... Uh, 4 miles northeastbound altitude indicates 3,500. Go right, off, yeah, big knob, one 2 one to the right. Okay. Good. See Stockton? You always oh, want to verify nice. it's there. Go home. Okay. Yep, see Stockton? Yep. Good. Zoom out. And wind is 330. So 29 or right. Easy, and that's the direction we're coming from. Yep. Good. You Man, could even wow, load. Look at that. Yep, long. 10, you could even load the ATIS and ground while you're here to comp too. Yep, let's do that. Good work. Okay, and tower. Yeah, Fresno approach. Cherokee 8900, 5, Cherokee 8900, Fresno approach, Fresno altimeter 29085. Are you landing uh, okay. Fresno Yosemite? Good. Uh, we're landing at, yes, Fresno Yosemite. Yep, approach. Cherokee 9090, advising you. Let's do another ILS. Fresno. We did an RNAV. Let's, let's alternate. Let's do that. Left. Left. You know what? Or above do you want to do. And we have Tango and we'll remain let's do localizer. We'll mix things up. Left, uh, see what that looks like. Let's do localizer 29, all right? And then you could zoom out. And you could see the. Actually, clear that. Now zoom out. And you could see the waypoints here. So, Deejer sounds coming good. This way. Uh huh. So Deejer is probably. So now with the small knob, down. you could move the small knob. Good. Deejer's an initial approach fix. Good. And let's pull up the approach plate to see the minimums. Now, if it were IMC there and overcast the 500, would you select the localizer or ILS? ILS. Good, right? Because we want the lowest minimums. But it's nice and sunny up. Yeah. Do you hear the engine getting louder? Uh huh. Good. That means we reach cruise. Let's go ahead and cruise her out. There we go. Good. Solid.
All right, so so I'm using this minimum localizer. Yep, yeah, localizer. MBA. It's a 360. Good. Look at this note. Okay, that doesn't apply. Okay. Good. Let's go to brief it. All right. So I have my localizer in there, 109.1. This is zero tell for offshore traffic. I have my uh, 11 o'clock. Weather. Six miles southeast and I have my Cherokee ground. Five thousand five hundred. Still talking to approach, and then I have tower written down. All right. I'm Final approach like course is two nine four. If do. Just letting know he's out there. There's uh, 500 people here. Thank you. And my. Uh, MBA, which I will level uh, out, is at five miles, uh, uh, 360. Uh, Cessna, 6, and IPDU. And we're looking for this Cessna. That's my final approach fix, and that's at 1800. Let's see. All right. So, Dieter, so, Dieter 29. Dieter is at. 29, I see that now. Yep, and then Sims 29. Sims is at 29. Ipdu is and at 18. Ipdu is at 18. Wigby, and then 520. Wigby is at 520. Sure, it's 28 Zulu, have a good flight. Contact Norcal Approach, 120.9 or 5. 120.9 good day. 28 Zulu. 28 Zulu. Good. Means we're reaching Northern California. We're on with NorCal Approach. Yeah. NorCal Approach, Sirius 228 Zulu, level, level 6000. Because we're on our flight plan. 228 Zulu, NorCal Approach, 6000, long temperature, 29086. 29086, 228 Zulu. Good. Solid. Okay. Good. Back to what we were doing, flight plan. And uh, I think we were down to the missed approach altitude there. Yeah. Okay, so Miss Approach, climb 500, which I have that there. Good. Climbing right turn to 2000, which is right there. On heading uh, 10, I got that there. Uh, outbound on the 309 to Orange, uh, and that's 25 miles to Mod and Hold. There you go. That good. good. All, All the right. altitudes check. All the altitudes check, and miss and uh, procedure or uh, approach uh, complete. Good. Briefing complete. Solid. Good. So there we have it. So you can see Jeter, uh, Deejer is right there, uh -huh. and we're coming from here. Yeah. So it's very much in our direction of flight. Yeah. So um, we. So Hones ties into uh, Deejer. Oh, was Hones an initial approach fix? Hones was not. Got but it. Hones was on the on the plate. Got it, got it, got it. See Hones right there. Oh got it, got it, got it. Approach November seven. Let's see, procedures. Select approach. And then oh. Hones. Hones. Yeah. Oh we can just actually It's not an initial it. approach fix, but it's a it's a it's a place to join it from. Yeah. But in our case I wouldn't do that because we anyway have Hones. We're anyway flying there. Yeah. The chances of them telling us direct Deejer from like here high. makes more sense than going there and then back south. Yeah. So because of that, are you following my thinking? Yep, I am. Because of that, I'm leaving this as is. Yeah. We're electing to not play with that. Yeah. Good. That makes sense. Good. And that's what IFR is. We're just thinking. We think about possibilities. And the more you do this, the more you get a feel yeah. for what you're going to get. Because the highest chances is somewhere around Turlo, Nebi or Awali will get direct Deejer. Uh -huh. Or direct something to join final approach course. Yep. Right? Because we've done this a million times. Not at Stockton, but we've done this in other places. No, and no, an no, approach is an approach is an approach is an approach is an approach. Yeah. Good. You develop a sense for it. Good. Could we hear the ATIS? Let's hear. Expect back taxi runway 29 right. 
couple of zeros unsure, 5 feet, five no chance in effect. Live on initial contact, you have echo. Tower information echo one nine or five five Zulu wind three three zero at eight visibility one zero sky clear after three seven two point one two altimeter two nine or eight five visual approaches in use landing and departing runway two nine or left two nine right no stair emissions use caution for construction south of Taxi Bravo and hotel near the base of the tower the aircraft with wingspan seventy nine feet and greater expect back taxi runway two nine or right couple of throws uncertified five feet no chance in effect. Good. If you're done with that, yeah, we could do this. Look. Boom. And then boom. Yep. Right? Because we're done with ATIS. Good. Yep. Staying ahead of the airplane. So we are to two eight Zulu traffic twelve to eleven o'clock, three miles off section Mooney, seven thousand four hundred descending. Lucky. Lucky two eight Zulu. What were you saying? I said oh I was just saying looking. No, you said something to me before that. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry say something? I wasn't sure. Cool. Okay, let me just play that back. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Two eight zero. Two eight zero. Over six eight miles. Descend at your discretion. Contact Express approach one one nine. So there's this uh, controller in Salt Lake. One one nine point six. Six eight miles. Roger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I love when they're just out of the box because oh, it's so yeah. the same everywhere. Yeah. And when 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 one day you get like a human, uh huh, who has a personality. I wouldn't want them all to be that way. Oh, yeah. But every once in a while, it would be refreshing. It keeps it lively. Yeah. It's fun. It would be refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. So is this is this pollution that we see, or is this um It's dust? like, I want to say it is smog, but it's also, you see how the clouds, so here's the whole, the, what is it, the Sierra, uh, Saharas. Yeah. Yeah, so it just, all the moisture, and it just kind of pulls it up right on top of it. Yeah. And so you see it's kind of like sitting on there. But what we're seeing here is really like just a smoggy... Uh, Grossness? Just thing that just sits. Yeah. 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 But that, with the white stuff there, yeah, that's that, sitting on top are, of the ridge. Those are clouds, yeah. Yeah. Because the air gets pushed up. Have you been to Yosemite? No, I've been to Mammoth and... No, yeah. I haven't done Yosemite. Yeah, I'd like to do Actually, that. Actually, I've done Yosemite. Is it Yosemite Airport in like south? Oh, on the other southeast side? of Montana. There's an airport called like Yosemite. Oh, uh, something. It's at like six, seven, eight thousand feet. I don't know. I've done that, but not Yosemite National. Southeast Montana. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't flown that way. Yeah. I've done that. Traffic a thousand beneath us in ten miles, so no yeah, fuck that. No fuck that. What's the approach uh, frequency for on the approach plate? Uh, one one nine nine point one. Three six. The uh, uh, point six for an over zero three seven. Approach. Oh, approach. Sorry. Uh, one two five point one. Let's do that as a guess that they'll hand us off to. Oh, there you go. Oh. Uh, there's 22A Zulu. We'd like to do the uh, localizer for 29 or right. There's 22A Zulu, clear direct sims. Clear direct sims, 22A Zulu. And tell me we have echo. And we have echo, 22A Zulu. Good. Flight plan. Highlight. Start down, November 3rd, 555. There's sims. Back to direct, enter, enter. Boom. Now, Home. Three, nine, five, 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 okay. Uh, back to, back Zoom to out. Again. Cleaned it all up. We're going yeah, direct like Sims. Planes turning, and we see Sims 44, 60 yeah. minutes. No, no Does that make sense? Yep. That's it. Of the Modesto Airport, maintain VFR, resume navigation, Columbia. That's it. VNAV populates the top of descent. We won't touch that because we're not yet cleared to descend. Correct. Good. Easy. Yep. But we do. We are on an approach segment. Now we're not. Oh, you know what? We uh, hold on. Let me see. Now we're not. Now we're just going direct to we're a waypoint to on the waypoint to join the okay, approach. We haven't done it yet. Okay. So we once don't we cross either. Sims, we'll be on an active segment. Yeah. Once we cross. Yeah. Correct. That's. Yeah. Once we cross Sims, that's uh -huh. when we're on the active segment. Good. But we still don't have uh, clearance. Now we, we have neither. Approach yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's the that guy. He's a thousand feet. You see, going into the green area, the dark area, that band.
Right over here. Right up the nose. Oh, I see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet they came out of Mammoth. Yeah. Yeah. Mammoth is right there, and there's this ridge here. So okay. I bet he just came out of Mammoth. Nice. Yeah, because Mammoth is right in there. That's Mammoth right here. Okay. Mammoth is this MMH. Directly east of us. Oh, yeah. Mammoth. So you've flown into there? Uh-huh. How's that like? It's great. High density. Well, it's high altitude airport. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Just the crispest, cleanest air. Yeah. It's amazing. I like that. Oh, it's the best. Last year when uh, you know Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and California were all on fire, uh -huh. all that smoke came to Utah. <laughs> Whoa. It was crazy. I believe that. It travels. It moves, just like planes do. Yep. Just like planes do. So what we talked about yesterday morning about calibrated airspeed and indicated airspeed and forward slips, does that make sense? It does, yeah. Yeah, especially with our pitot tube not facing forward. The pitot tube, right, the pitot tube doesn't move. The only thing that could move to face the relative wind is our head. Yeah. Other than our head, everything is pretty much fixed. Even our body, we sit in a certain position. Yeah. In a forward slip, we're moving sideways through the air. Good, 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 good. Switching over to 125.1. 55 Foxtrot. 6-7 X-rays, ready contact. 8 miles northeast of the Merced Airport. The Castle Altimeter 2986. Stay on 2. 6-7 X-ray, 4,500. Good, so we'll do step downs on this approach. Even if we do press the approach button, uh huh. Yeah, it won't do anything. It won't even do anything. Well, actually, it North will Africa, because. Uh, 93 Charlie Hotel out of Modesto, 1.4 for. Uh, uh, only. Oh, no, no. Yeah, you're right. Uh, right three, okay. Charlie Hotel, that kind of it was on the iPad. That, on the approach, yeah, because that's the ILS and or localizer. localizer. Yeah, 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 yeah. They share the same approach. Plate. The same plight. Yeah. I think pressing that is kind of good habit to just get into though yeah what do you think? don't be afraid of it just press it you got to get stickers but put, put a sticker on here that says 3d yeah or arm well this arm's it. just 3d right there yeah because who cares what you call this yeah i don't care what these i don't care if you rename this to victor and you rename this to charlie and you rename that to sahara as long as you know their function yep right they call this approach okay rename it whatever you want whatever will stick 3D arm, up, down, right, left, whatever you want to call that. You smell that water? No. It smells like water to me. Huh. Water. Yeah, Mammoth is right in there. Right. So in there's there. like a ridge, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. I kind of see it through the smog. Yep. East of us. Yeah. Mammoth. So looking at the, let's pull up the uh, airport and see where the um, restaurant's at to get an idea of what our taxi is going to look like. Yeah. North Cal approach, Archer, 9556 Kilo at 5500. 9556 Kilo, North Cal approach. If you go to the map and zoom in on Stockton, 29856 Kilo. Curious if it'll show anything. I don't think so. No. Won't show anything. Got it. All right. What's the? Oh, I have no service. We'll find, we'll just say restaurant then. I think it's called Top Flight. Top Flight. Yeah. Top of our two eight Zulu descend and maintain four thousand. Down to four thousand two eight Zulu. Four thousand. Well. Look at that. We're on our way. So, sure we'll leave that. Switch tanks. Good. Barrel, light, brake pressure. There's what, uh, it, what is it? Just 
called? Top flight. Top flight. Top flight. Now we're jumping on the flight deck. We just began our descent into the uh, Stockton area. Our Captain Jared will be uh, conducting this landing. And so please uh, thank him on your way off as uh, it is going to be a smooth one. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure having you on board this afternoon. Thanks for flying with us. And we'll see you again here real soon next time. Have a great rest of your day. After lunch. After lunch. After lunch. Approach 125.1. 125.1. So, approach 228 Zulu, 5,300, descending 4,000, direct sims. Yeah. Approach Cirrus 228 Zulu, 5,300, descending 4,000, direct sims. Approach 228 Zulu, north left, approach Stockton, on 200, 2984. 2984, 228 Zulu. Good, solid. You saw that call? Yeah, let me Altitude. hear. Altitude. Let me hear what she said. Something altimeter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Stockton altimeter. Stockton altimeter. Yeah. I didn't even hear that. I just heard something altimeter. Yeah. Good. We have ground and active of two. Good. We could put tower and standby of uh, yeah. one. We're ready to go there. Solid. Good. We are ahead of the airplane. Now, in a perfect world, you want to cross SIMS at 29. They told us to descend and maintain four. So currently, as we speak, in terms of relative to SIMS, uh -huh. we, I want to make sure you understand, we're 1,100 feet high. Does yeah. that make sense? Uh -huh. Good. I want to, I want to I start thinking that I could way. get uh, a little lower. It's fine. They'll give you lower in a moment. Yeah. It's all good. It's really a matter of just controlling our power settings. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. You could smoke and then just fall way behind, or you could just be cognizant of what I just said. Yeah. And then you go, okay, so I'm a little high. You know? It's fine. We'll get there. It's just trying to be on top of my power settings. Yeah. Yep. And that's how I want you to think. It's almost like you could say private pilots are expected to think in 2D. All this is not 100% true, but then IFR, you really have to think of 3D. Yeah. Approaches have everything to do with 3D. Yep. Right? Good. Good. Good stuff. Yeah, it's so interesting. It's all desert all around, and then we just hit green. Uh-huh. But this is kind of an artificial green because it's all farms. Yep. Another thing I want you to realize on this trip, Jared, is how once a pilot, always a pilot. You can fly anywhere. Have you ever been to Stockton in your life? Nope. Did you ever drive these roads? Nope. Then how do you know where you're at? How do you know how to fly over them? Because you know where you're know at. where I'm at, yeah. Right? Because flying in one area is like flying in another area. It's all the same. So I want you to appreciate when you could be a pilot in Salt Lake, you could be a pilot in Stockton. Yeah. You could be a pilot in Florida. Yeah. You, you never had to visit the city in order to know exactly where you're at. Uh -huh. We have zero doubt as to where we're at. We're joining the approach here in a moment. Yeah. We have no doubt where we're at. I think that's the field straight Yep, airport ahead. straight ahead. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. So I want you to appreciate that we're hitting all these cities you've never visited in your life, and yet we're not lost at all. No. Nope. So. Yeah, same thing as driving, I mean. Went yeah. to Italy just recently and, you know, got a car. Driving there was the same. Yep. Yep. So, they are fast drivers. Oh, really? In Italy? Yeah. Italia. I was going, uh, I think, 90 miles an hour, almost 100, but I was in a kind of a smaller car. Uh-huh. And this car behind me wanted to go faster, and I was like, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to let you take it from here. I'm going to pull over. <laughs> What is it, the Autobahn? Uh, it wasn't the Autobahn. It was just their, their freeway system there. Got it.
Look at that. I guess we have an advisory glide slope on the localizer. Yeah, we'll see if it ever comes alive. But we'll do the step down, so we'll just intercept it with this, Yeah. and we will do the step down. So every time we reach a thing, we'll go ahead and continue descending. Although, although, we're lucky. We verified the altitudes. VNAV will take care of all of it for yeah, us. Yeah, VNAV will. There you go. So it'll be a VNAV approach-ish. Yeah. Well, VNAV will take care of it all the way till the final approach fix, and then it's up to me. You could even do VNAV all the way to the ground, as long as you monitor and make sure that it reaches the waypoints at that altitude, oh, which yeah. we did. We confirmed the altitudes yeah. against the approach plane. Yeah. Yeah. All VNAV is doing is just descending for you. Yep. And beginning it exactly at the point and at the descent rate that will get you to the next waypoint at the altitude you want to be at. Yeah. That's all that VNAV's doing. I guess it could have gone to We could go a little faster. Yeah. yeah. Still a wise out. Turlock Lake. Turlock Lake. Here's another way you could think of it. You see the distance of the glide of, of, of uh, the track vector? Uh huh. We know from the settings yesterday we have it set to 30 seconds. Yeah. So we have double the track vector distance between us and Top of Oh, uh, yeah, true. Top of is minute. like a minute. Yeah. Let's see how true or wrong that is. It's showing Top of Descent two minutes. Let me see what the thing is, the track vector. Is it indeed? Oh, 60, oh, 60 seconds. Got it. 60 seconds. Yeah. And it is slightly more than double. Yeah. Okay, that makes so sense. So what is this uh, gray... Yeah, That's a localizer. That's a localizer. Uh -huh. But because we're not straight in right now, we're coming slightly from the right. Oh, so yeah. the localizer is here. Yeah, I see. Yep. Yeah, just barely. Uh huh. Yep. So that's a localizer. Just like the glide path shows up in gray. Uh huh. It's not yet alive. It's not active. Yeah. So the localizer either too. It's not. Uh, it's not alive. So this will also change my CDI to the localizer. I want to check something. Sync, heading, procedures, activate approach. That takes us to DJR, right? Uh -huh. That's the initial plan. Yeah. So activate approach takes you to the IAF. You see what I did here with first going ahead? Yeah. Plane's not moving not away from move. me. Yeah. I got it pinned. Sims, direct enter, enter. Boom. Nav. Good. Now we're back to square one. Yeah. Now we're back to square one. So uh, once we get closer, it should switch to localizer. It should. Because essentially going direct to a waypoint of approach is like activating the approach. Yeah. But if it doesn't, guess what we could do? We Boom. Just Boom. Activate. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Vertical track. That's it. And this is just something that we will pay attention to. And actually now we will it will be a great time to learn what the plane will actually do. Yeah. And that's how you should approach it. What will the plane do? Have a curiosity learning what what will the plane do and when. Every time I cross sims out of a two thousand clear uh localizer two nine approach. Two nine right two nine right approach two two eight zero. Good. 29, 2000. She said at or above, so what we could do, check it out. We don't have to go crazy. What we could do is just do VNAV. We lowered the floor, I have VNAV. 
Once that thing will touch the center, VNAV will take us all the way to the approach. She didn't say 2,000, she said at or above. At or above, yeah. Right? So we can like just that. let so we VNAV, just let VNAV, it VNAV do its let thing, it right? Thing. Yeah. So here in a moment, it will touch the center. There's VPath. Now let VPath take care of the rest. Yep. She I didn't like say cross it at 2,000, she said at or at above. Or above. So we could do whatever we want to do. Yeah. Make sense? Yep. So instead of diving and stuff, just let VNAV be nice and smooth. Yep. Good. Solid. And so she said I was cleared for the approach. Correct. So once we get to Sims. Yeah. Then. Right. If then we do I vectors to final right now, right? Let the, once we get to Sims, or yeah. what you could do, another way to think of this is go ahead and press. Go ahead, procedures. Activate vectors to final. Two seven four. Two seven four. Good. You see GPS is going back to roll. Yeah. Press nav. Boom. There's localizer. But now you see what's happening. I'm turning. You're turning, and she said to go to Sims. Sims. So I want to show you why we should not do that, and why we wouldn't want to do that until we would get to Sims. Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So at Sims, we would want to intercept vectors, uh, to activate vectors to final. Yeah. Negligible in our case, because our intercept angle is so the same, we'll touch Sims anyway. Yeah. But do you get what um, activate vectors to final does? Yep. It just makes a line. Just makes a line. And if the localizer is alive, the plane will turn to intercept it. Yeah. Make sense? Which yep. in our case is negligible because we'll touch Sims either way. Yeah. Easy? Good. Yep. Solid. And there we go. Now we didn't, we lost VNAV, and look what VNAV put us back to. Pitch. Oh, pitch. You yep. remember what we talked about? Yep. Pitch is the, the default place that the plane is comfortable with. Yeah. So she said cross sims at or above 2,000. So now we'll revert to this because we don't have VNAV, and we'll go to, look at this, vertical speed, and we will go minus 500, and we will depress that. So now we're straight legit minus 500 a minute, all the way to 2,000. Yeah. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Good. Where's the banana telling us we'll reach 2,000? Pass sims. Uh -huh. So we're complying with our instructions of cross sims at or above 2,000. Does yep. that make sense? That makes sense. All this thinking right here. It's not complicated. It's just being aware of what's yep. going on. And my next altitude is 18. Good. Solid. So you could even go all the way to 18 now, just like that, because we can see the banana. Yeah. We'll reach 18 past sims. So we're complying with the step yep. downs. And so we'll approach sims. IPDU at 18. Yeah. Good. Solid work. Does this make sense? This makes sense. Yeah. Good. There's no right. There's many ways you go as long as you know what's going on and you could comply with it the right way. Uh huh. All right. Let's go to 100 knots. And then a mile from IPTU, you'll do what? Uh, belts boost uh, mixture. Cool. Contact Boston Tower. One two zero point three. One two zero one two zero point three two two eight Zulu. We'll say Stockton Tower, Sierra's 228 Zulu. It's on the localizer, localizer 29 right. Stockton Tower, Sierra's 228 Zulu, localizer 29 right. Sierra's 228 Zulu, Stockton Tower, wind 290 right, runway 29 right, cleared to land. 290 right, clear to land, 228 Zulu. Good. See the runway? Yep. There it is. There it is. IFR. That's a big runway. Uh huh, it's a big one. There's big jets are flying in. Our, I think Amazon has a huge thing fulfillment center here. Really? Yeah, seven, five, I think, I don't know. Have a safe flight. 125.175 Lima. 75 Lima. It will put the GS on standby, but there's no glide path. Yeah, no glide path. Yeah. Because it's localizer. Uh-huh. But it'll still keep the localizer, because this includes 3D and 2D. Uh-huh. Or 2D and 3D. Good. Fernando 6 Hotel Papa, turn left at Juliet, contact ground. Papa Juliet at ground. So it's 101 FM, runway 290 left, clear for the option. Runway 290 left, clear for the option, 201 FM.
Oh, you even have an advisory glide slope. Yeah, that's nice. Interesting. Look at that. Many times you have an advisor like R the LNAV plus B. Yeah. On the RNAVs. It's almost like this plane can't help itself but to offer you an ILS when you select a localizer. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, come on, I could give you an ILS. I could do better. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Solid. There it is. Yeah, the automation captured it. Uh-huh, yeah, because you hit this. Yeah. Yep. This thing arms even advisory stuff. Yeah. Even the visual approach glide slopes things, this will arm and follow it. Even not a real instrument approach. Yeah. You know the visual approaches? Yep. They yep. have that. It'll still, it'll Which still is fine, it. yeah. right? Because remember, a visual approach you can only do in VFR or VMC conditions. Yeah. So let it follow it. As long as you're monitoring, make sure not, it's not taking you into the pavement. You're good. Yeah. Let it maintain positive control of the airplane for you if you want a little break. Stuck on. It's amazing. RV, each city has its own scenery. Yeah, they really do. Looks different. All right, 600 to go. Five hundred. Long way in sight. Approaching minimums. 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 Continue. <laughs> it's like the European airline videos. Yeah. At minimum. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> See if it'll say retard, retard. Oh, retard, yeah, yeah. Got to get that installed on this, yeah. like the Airbus. Retard. There we are. Cleared a little high, but we made not, it. Not bad. We was bought it. it. Uh, was it here is two at the eight. Zulu. Yeah. Cross two nine on left at hotel. Contact ground. All right, cross two nine left at hotel. Contact ground. Uh, two two eight Zulu.
the last ground where the restaurant's at. There's a hotel right there. Coming up. Yep, next one. Welcome to Stock. Yeah. I believe that's an Amazon thing they're building. Is it really? Look at that. That's huge. Huge. Yeah, big ol' hangar is out of here. Good call on that. Research? Oh yeah. 36 here. I think Fresno was hotter. Good, so we got clearance to cross 2 9 left on hotel, which is this. Clear right. I don't see anyone. Okay. Clear Good left. left. Alright. And over to ground. And then contact ground, yep. Okay. Grant, uh, Stockton Ground, here's 228 Zulu on hotel. Uh, we'd like to taxi to the restaurant. Number 238 Juliet Hotel, Stocks and Ground, turn right on Bravo Taxi to uh, transit parking near the chain link sense. Are you familiar? Not us. Not us. November 228 Zulu, Stocks and Ground, sorry, that was for you. Turn right on Bravo and taxi to transit parking. Are you familiar? Uh, taxi to um, Bravo, right on Bravo, and we are not familiar with uh, transient. Number 28 Zulu, roger. Continue westbound on Bravo until what I call it, it uh, ends. You go past that giant hangar down there. Look to your left. You'll see Top Gun. Just to the west of Top Gun is Tie Downs and the chain link fence, and that's the gate you can go through to get to the restaurant. Amazing. Sounds good. 228 Zulu, thank you. Let me know if you need any help. Gracias. What's good on the menu? Do you think controllers... Sorry? I said, what's good on the menu? I mean, if you guys ordered there before. No, I never have, to be honest with you, so I don't know. Oh. Ah. Do you think these people eat at airport restaurants, cafes? I would. I mean, it's like your lunch break. Where would you buy food? Yeah. Look at that old blue plane. That thing is literally... One big piece of drag being flown around. Yeah. Look how bulky that is. That is super bulky. Yep. The power it would take to just move that thing through the air. Oh, it's yeah. Unbelievable. Just to overcome the drag. Top Gun. That's the name of the restaurant. Top Gun? I thought it was Top Flight, but she said Top Gun. Top flight.